他の。なゆみちゃん。Falling asleep, falling asleep. Yes. Then it was like, holy shit, Korea Senpai. <laughs> Use the following words to make a sentence. Question number one. Then you're a dull. What a dumb question to ask on academy students. I sighed with boredom and started filling in answers. Udon yuri soba ga suki. There. I like udon more than soba. Why did you have it like in Japanese and then give a translation? It's a bit random. Question number two. It is a what? Hey, whatever. On the contrary, this one's easy. Suki just taught me how to use it the whole day. Karawa kuzuri no hote kawete shimata whatever. He changed after selling drugs. That's random. Great. All finished. I finished final question and tossed my pencil on the desk. I stretched out and cracked my neck. Ah, my shoulder all stiff. I don't deserve to get this assignment for taking a little nap. It's almost summer vacation anyway. I finished my cold cup of coffee and got up from the chair. It was already after midnight. I didn't have time to read a book or listen to music anymore. I turned the light off and got into bed. My body was consumed with relaxation, and I fell deeply into the dark world of sleep. Suddenly, I heard a sound. It reached my sleepy ears, though they were unable to determine what it was. It's probably nothing. Whatever. Squall reaction. I'm so sleepy. You and me both, man. I'm like been half asleep this whole time. Snuggle, snuggle. What? Something was getting into my bed. Oh, I wonder who that could possibly be. It's no big deal. Snuggle, snuggle. Wait, how is that not a big deal? It is too a big deal. I leapt up from my bed. Uruzai. <laughs> Brimler, what the hell are you doing here? I mean, that's obvious, but. Why inside my bed? What the? You may look younger than usual, but we're almost the same age. You think it's okay for you to? Hey, you listening? She grabbed my pajamas tightly with her small hands. You grabbed my clothes like that when we first met too. Good grief. Seriously, it's just like it all started with that damn cat, and now all of a sudden, just like, wow. Uh, fine, whatever. But it's just for tonight, okay? I lightly tapped her head and laid back down. Her voice sounded a little excited. Man, if they hear about that in your school, Rin, they're going to absolutely flip tables over. I thought you were having a hard time falling asleep. I smiled wryly as I heard her immediately begin to snore. I softly patted her innocent, sleepy face. I'm right here. I can't escape because someone's got my clothes in a death grip. It seemed like she slightly smiled. You're sad, aren't you? You just don't know how to interact and be with people. She didn't dislike strangers, but she also didn't know how to like them. She was extremely pure. I saw her true self as I watched her clinging to me. I hope Kaido won't misunderstand this in the morning. She might just say good luck with a smile on her face. An awkward one, most likely. They're just gonna. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Pink? 
I hear a quiet but familiar voice in my state of vague consciousness. The door slowly opened and a person entered the room. Is it morning already? I was up late last night and I still felt exhausted. I went to at least five more minutes in bed. <coughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? Her scream echoed through my room. My sleepiness was blown away and I jumped up from the bed. Your sleepiness is blown away, but mine is still there. Hey, Kylie, what's wrong? What happened? But she didn't, uh... What? I looked down beside me as she stood there shaking. You're not fully awake yet, you know. If you were fully awake, you would have remembered that scene. That was a dangerous statement! Just to be clear, I'm not the reason why she didn't get any sleep last night. Well, try and calm down first, Kaede-kun. She actually said that after all. Time to wake up. I messed up pretty bad. You messed up so bad that as soon as the morning begun, the whole day ended. Another scene we've seen before about the angel's bell. Why did they have scenes that we've seen before playing in a character's route? It just seems kind of weird and awkward at this point. I was simply passing through the park on the way home from shopping. Thus proving that this whole visual novel tends to be random scene after random scene. Like you could have like the plot going and then all of a sudden it would just change to a random scene that has nothing to do with the plot. I rarely came this way when going home from school but sometimes I use this route as a shortcut. So for me to be here at this time of day was surely just coincidence. Unlike the midday heat the breeze felt a little chilly. I saw a girl sitting on the bench set against such a quiet seat. Primla, what the hell's she doing here anyway? The girl looked up as she swung her purple twin tails. Dean. Uh, what are you doing here all by yourself at this time of day? Primla's face showed obvious disappointment. Chica. As if she was a child waiting for her mother to come. What do you mean, no? What is it? Is this gonna be another confusing route? I didn't understand what she meant. The only thing I knew was that there was a special meaning in her being there at that moment. She was there because she had a special reason. Her face was blank as usual, but I could hear a little sadness in her voice. Slightly suspicious, I sat next to her. Okay then, I'll stay here until you leave. She blinked a few times and spoke after a short pause. Good. Well, that was pretty short time. Gosh, would you have stayed there forever if I hadn't come by? She shook her head clearly in response. Did she just say Onechan? You mean Rene? She's at home. So that's probably why you'd have to go for Narene's route, because like it'd have spoilers for Narene's route, I guess. Like Riss? I asked the name unfamiliar to me. Well, we already know who that was. For Primal to have shown such affection, I had to wonder what she was like. But she didn't answer me as she looked down, she muttered something. 
来てくれない。Facial expression on Anchi sounded extremely sad. Man, it's really just going from one random scene to the next. Seriously, can you imagine if it tried to like, go an entire day of like, plots? It'd be impossible to do. Link. Demo. Hi. My. Said like Brimler's Bresser's size of Miami. She's basically as flat as a board here. I mean, wow. Oh, wait. Seems to be a little extra different scene. Also, Shia, yours don't really look all that big, I really like. Then just embarrassed face. I heard a familiar voice from behind the princess had finally arrived. I turned around with anticipation to see Nerene's swimsuit. Hey, you both look great. Is this your first time wearing a swimsuit? I see. Then this is your very first time at the pool. Enjoy yourself. See, this is the pool. Jump on in. Sure, look, everyone else has. I pointed at the people who were waiting for her to come in. Primla walked up to the side of the pool and timidly stretched out her leg. But as soon as her toes touched the water, she pulled back. Wait, who takes a cold bath? I've heard of cold showers, but a cold bath? I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I always take showers, really. Primla stretched her leg. She touched the water and pulled back. Stretched. Pull back. Stretched. Pull back. Stretched. <laughs> Rene, come on. Mimi-chan has a lot of hikkomijian places, so sometimes I'll go and get a lot of people. You know, people's reaction to being pushed into a pool usually is, you asshole! I wonder what her reaction will be. Or maybe they'll set her off and boom! Really? Brimla came up to the surface. Even at a time like this, she was as expressionless as ever. As the senpai walked over to me after getting out of the pool. Yes? Isn't it? Well, it's a school pool, right? I think it was. That was Itsuki's recommendation. He swore it was the best look for her. 
and to be honest, I didn't see anything else that would fit her. Besides, Kaido's hand me down to fit her perfectly. Maybe I just don't know much about these swimsuits that everyone seems to have some fetish for. I don't really get it, to be honest. You know, I thought that too. As long as it looks good on her, then it's okay. Hmm, I thought maybe this was wrong, but I guess it really was wrong. Oh well, I guess I need to go shopping soon. You know, Primler and water. You know, I always, for some reason, when it, like, I don't know. I just, like, think, you know what? She's evolving into a Vaporeon. I don't know. I've always kind of, like, looked at Primly. It's like, if she was a Pokemon, she'd be a Vaporeon. I don't know why. Maybe it's the ears. Though, when I saw her in the pool, she really didn't seem all that concerned. I don't even know why I said that. That's just random. It's like we're back in the rainy season. As I looked outside through the curtain, I saw countless raindrops hitting the ground. Oh, raindrops, you're gonna make me even more sleepy. The rain, which started around daybreak, was still going strong this noon. Gives me a break. Give me a break. I'm just changing my uniform. Was someone tell me that going to school on a day off was so unusual? What a rude rain cloud. I was going to do some of my summer homework in the library, but because of the weather, I was having second thoughts. I uh, guess I'll just stay home. I heaved a sigh and looked away from the window. At the same time, the door opened and Cardio walked in with a worried look. You can't find Primula. I repeated what she just said, Cardio nodded and said it again. Okay, so... I have no idea what's going on in this ride, because it just goes from one random scene to the next. Is there going to have any, like, actual plot, or is it just going to be random scene after random scene again? You mean Shiratama and Kuratama? But she always takes them with her everywhere, right? Toratama? Toratama is the very first stuffed animal Primla bro brought. When I first met Primla, she was precisely, pre yeah, precisely clinging to a stuffed animal. It was rather dirty and the stuffing was coming out, but it was dear to her. After I gave her Shiratama and Kuratama, she put the tiger on her bed, but why did she take it now? Especially in this rain. She might have. A lady's name came to mind, I picked up the phone on the desk to find out about her. It's funny, really, isn't it? Like, they've, like, kind of got to know each other, like, for quite a while now, but he never calls them. I mean, why would he? Just like, no, I do not want to get involved with these people. The two kings enter the room. Under normal circumstances, I'd listen to their banter, but at the time, I didn't feel like dealing with it. Do you know who Licorice is? As soon as they heard the name, their faces dropped. So you do. Lindoro, so it's all Doko Karakito. I heard it from Primler. She said she wanted to see Licorice Onisha. Can you please tell me about Primler's sister? Is she the reason why Primler doesn't show her emotions? Ano ko ane, kanjo wo dasa nai nja nai, dasa nai nga. The King of the Devil spoke slowly while maintaining eye contact. Oi, Mabu! Kamawa nai sa. Mushiro Rinchan niwa 
知っておいてもらった方がいいと思ういや知るべきだあの子のためにもそうかもしれねえな They had such serious looks on their faces, extremely unusual. I just simply nodded in response. Please tell me everything. Why can't Primal express her emotions? Ima mo itta tori. Jinkou se mei tai wa zenbu de san tai ita. Nara, hoka no ni tai wa ima doko ni iru no ka. So the other two are dead. The King of the Devil Devils didn't answer, but his silence confirmed what I'd said. Oh come on, man! This is the information seems all over the place because of like Arthur's route confirmed like one of them was in fact still alive. その程度でしかない俺たちが無理に強化しまくった魔力を制御なんかできるわけがねえ I could sense self-loathing in the words he spat out both for himself and his fellow researchers シンちゃんの言った通りさ生命体が3体作られた理由はね長持ちしないのが分かっていたからなんだ生命体が最初に作られたのはもう20年も前になる作り方は至って簡単強化しただけ魔族の中から一人を選抜しその力を特殊な方法で無理やりに引き上げた制御の可否なんて考えなかったただ強力な魔力を求めてあらゆる手段を使って引き上げたあっさり暴走した限界なんかとっくに超えてやがった制御なんかできるわけがねえ溢れ出した高密度の魔力は単純な力の塊となって施設を一つ丸ごと消滅させた破壊なんて生優しいもんじゃねえ消滅だ死体どころか塵一つ残らなかった超極秘事項として処理されたがそれがなけりゃ深海と魔界の両世界史に残る大惨事だなあれ本来ならそれで実験は中止になるべきだったんだろうけれどもそうするわけにはいかなかったそれは魔界と深海のためにどうしても必要な実験だったからだから次の2号体は違った方法で作られた複製もともと強大な魔力を持った魔族の遺伝子を改造し強大な魔力を持たせ育てた人間界の言葉で言うならクローンというやつだね魔界屈指の魔力とそれを制御できるだけの器もともと持っていた素質を育て強化することで限界以上の魔力を制御できる力をつけさせる途中まではかなり順調だったんだけどねやっぱり失敗した複製品をさらに強化した遺伝子は予想以上に劣化が激しくてねやはり強力すぎる魔力に耐えきれず死んだだがなこれはある意味予定調和でもあったのさこっちの世界と同じでな俺らの世界でもクローンなんて技術は完成してない途中で終わることは分かっていただからこそ3号体を用意しておいたそれがプリムラその作り方は生産マニファクチャー・ザミ言葉通りの意味だよ全て作ったのさ無の状態からその紙一本から爪一枚皮膚の一かけらに至るまでありとあらゆる魔法技術を動員してね強大な魔力とそれを制御できるだけの肉体的キャパシティ二つを合わせ持ったものをゼロから作った What do you mean by nothing? How could you do that? 普通なら無理だだがないくつもの失敗といくつもの偶然そしていくつもの奇跡それらがたまたまきれいに混ざり合って天文学的数字の確率を拾い上げた命を作り出した
もう一度作ろうとしたって絶対にできねえ。替えの効かない実験体だ。A life made from nothing. リンちゃん、作り出されたということが何を意味するかわかるかい no, just that she wasn't born. いや、それでいい。半分は正解だよ。そう。つまりプリムラには両親がいない。親の愛情を知らない。替えのない実験体である彼女が来やすく外に出られるはずもない友人すらもいない結果感情というものを知らずに育ってしまっただから表情も変えられない変えるということを知らないプリムラが知っているものはただ一つ唯一の家族とも言える存在あの子にとっての姉二号体Are you saying that the second one is. The King of the Devil is not even answered clearly. Licoris. Tsne ni mukuchi. Muhio jo da ta primura mo. Kanojo no mae de dakewa. Tasho nari tomo kanjo o da shita. Waratte, okotte. Samishigatte, naita. Saisho ni anoko ga motte ita nui guru mi wa ne. Licoris ga ichido dake. Kono ningen kai ni kita toki ni katte ita o mi yage nanda yo. だからあの子は猫に興味を持った唯一の家族が買ってきてくれた贈り物だからそしてその姉が大好きだった一人の人間にも同じように興味を持った土見凛リコリスがこの人間界に来た時に出会い子供心に憧れ続けた一人の少年にまさかその興味対象に会うために人間界にまで出てきちまうとは思わなかったかな The King of the Gods said in amazement I guess Primla's behavior was that unexpected I had licorice リンちゃんが覚えてないのは当然だからね気にしないでいいよいやおそらくは覚えているのだろうけどあの時のリコリスはリコリスでなかったから The king of the devils chuckled a little and I didn't understand what he meant. Well, from, you know, Nereni's route, we kind of do know what he's talking about. But the king of the devils continued as if it was okay. Primula が持っていた猫のぬいぐるみ。あれは、リコリスが人間界のお土産として買っていったものだった。だから、あの子は猫に興味を持った。リコリスが買ってきてくれたものだから、興味を持ったんだ。Licorice Primula is one and only family member who she loved. Even after she was gone, she still remembered and longed for her. That night at the park, when Primula was. Uh, what Primula was waiting for, what she was expecting.、Uh, has Licorice ever gone to pick Primula up? The King of the Devils fought a little, then gave me the answer I expected. その時にプリムラを連れて帰ってきたのがリコリスだったね確かそういやその時からかプリムラがリコリスにやたらとついて回るようになったのはうん I see so it's kind of the same thing all over again only it's written I wanted to laugh I wanted to sneer at myself why didn't I notice why couldn't I understand it what she was seeking searching for desiring Was always right in front of me, it must have been there. She's waiting. I knew where she's at, I knew exactly what she was doing, too. If that's the case, there's only one thing I should do. Thank you so much, everything's clear now. I'm going to find her. As I turned around, I looked out the window. The rain reminded me of teardrops. The rain was at its strongest since it was the end of the rainy season. I tried looking around, but I couldn't see anyone in the wet park. In a way, she was dead. She lost her heart. The girl who stood in the middle of the big park looking down. Soaked with rain, she remained frozen in place and continued crying inside. I covered her with half of my umbrella. I knew I'd find you here. Her petite body swayed a little when she looked up at me. You sure I can win the rain, don't you? I tried to smile as sweetly as possible. 
Primula's pure large eyes showed an unusual amount of amazement. Or maybe you just don't like umbrellas. I heard from Narena that you have something similar in the world of devils, right? Okay. Primula looked away bashfully. I felt like I could see her true feelings in her behavior, so I smiled right. Then I closed my umbrella. Unlike the winter rain, this warm rain stuck to me and made my body damp. It was raining pretty hard, so it didn't take long before I saw it dripping from my hair. I guess it's not that bad getting wet in the rain every once in a while. I remember getting all muddy while playing when I was a kid. My wet hair stuck to my cheek and my clothes were soaked clinging to my body, but it didn't feel bad. <laughs> Remla muttered sadly. I know you can't find her. She isn't anymore. Anyway. I'm screwing up my lines. As usual, her face was blank, but her words were emotional. They were tinged with the sadness of being alone and disappointment. I want to make it clear. I'm not licorice. I can't be licorice. I have no intention of telling you to forget about it. I am Rin Tsuchimi. Yes, Rin Tsuchimi. Even if you try to find Licorice, you won't find her. She no longer exists. That was the truth. No. No matter how much you wish for it, how much you pray for it, how much you dream about it, there's no way to change reality. Yeah, but the reality is that uh, she kind of... E kind of... I guess merged in a way with uh, Nerene, because we found out that Nerene's rap, but of course he does know that because he wasn't like flat out told that in his route. Nobody could make Primla's wish come true. You know, some people might stumble upon this part and be like, what the hell are you talking about? Spoilers, man! Because it didn't do this in separate route kind of things like I usually would. All just in one kind of like. Part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, now we're part 40 something. Besides, I couldn't have done that for her, nor should I have, so I refused to even think about it. So, so I'm here to pick you up. That's what I could do. Why didn't I notice before? She was screaming for help. She was praying that much right in front of me. What Primlin desired was such a simple thing. Someone to always watch over her, that's all she wants. Okay. Sure. I will accept you, I will accept you always. I'm not licorice, I can't be licorice, there is no licorice. So, you have to sell for a ring to sip. You don't have to be alone. Hey, that's new. Haven't seen that face. Her face broke. Oh, that. Other. Her expressionless face broadened like a child's. Primula cried out. She cried out as if she was trying to get rid of her anger while grabbing my collar and burying her face in my chest. So unlike the expressionless Primla until that point her emotions were gushing out. There was nothing there to stop her, she kept on crying exposing her true feelings. She just kept crying. Primla. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that she couldn't express her emotions, she just hadn't known how. But no techniques were required, she just had to be honest with herself. All she needed was a place that let her do so. No, she really is pretty damn sure, no. I mean, look at the size comparison. Like, his freaking arm looks freaking huge compared to her. It's like, holy crap. Well, anyways, focus, there's something I found out. What Primla was wishing for, what she was searching and craving for. Someone who'd want her, someone who'd find and want her. Then, 
Someone who would show her what? I embraced her tiny body in my arms. Seriously, really is freaking tiny, man. And it was warm as well. The warmth of Brimla just like mine. I won't let you be alone, so let's go back together. If it leads to that scene, man, then I'm just gonna be like, what the hell? I watch TV in the living room while drinking tea after dinner. Seriously, whenever that scene actually pops up and there's two of them, like, for each route, it's gonna be awkwarder than anything else, man. It was my usual way to spend an evening. That's when someone called for me. Uh, what the hell? I'm... Her head's actually down. Dean. Edu. Primula, what's the matter? So no... ne... When I saw her face, I was lost for words. The normally expressionless Primula was blushing bashfully. You're Primula, right? Kaida and I looked at one another baffled that the Primula before us was so different from the one we knew. Uh, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Did you catch a cold from being wet in the rain this afternoon? <laughs> My god. Actual expressions in the head down is like, Ah, oh, he's so freaking adorable looking. Oh my god, he's so adorable. Pat on the head. God, I call an ambulance. No, maybe we better call the king of the devils. <laughs> he's showing emotions. Oh my god. This, is, this must be bad, right? <laughs> Holy shit, it really is weird as hell. Just a minute, I'll get the king so you get her medicine and get the ice pack ready. <laughs> that face. One word stopped the chaos inside the Fuyu household. <laughs> My god. What, when you really think about her, like her expressionless tone suddenly changing. Her facial expression is actually, you know, being facial expressions. It's almost as if you traded a vo like... It's like an entirely different voice actor. It's just like, holy crap. But it isn't. Something to ask me? Finish that line by the sounds of it. For a second, I didn't understand what she meant. Brimla waited for my answer, her face beat red. Onichan? I muttered quietly, trying to remember what she meant. Then it suddenly all made sense. She wanted some kind of proof. As she didn't have any blood relatives, she wanted proof that I wasn't just a stranger. It's proof that the girl who was never interested in having a relationship with anyone is now trying to find a connection. I smiled, it was all a moment of genuine joy. She spoke so timidly and quietly that I didn't even need to think about it, there was only one acceptable answer. I put my hand on her head. Of course you can. I answered with a smile. Like melting ice, her expression changed into a smile. Seriously, man, this like biggest freaking character change I have seen in a long time. Her smile was so attractive and nothing like her old expressionless face. Now she looked bashful. Bremla looked so precious when showing such emotions, it made me truly happy. Get back on that, that's the most adorable thing ever. Okay, now that's where brother and sister, do you want to sleep together? 
What? That's the most randomest thing. Well, no. I don't feel random. But what the fuck? It's like, oh, we're brother and sister now, so let's sleep together. Obviously, don't mean that kind, but but, but what the hell? <laughs> hey, indeed. What the fuck? I was joking, but Primly gave it some serious thought. She nodded bashfully. Ninka. Wait, Kaede, I was just joking. I didn't expect you to say okay. あ、あの。you know, I, I'm lost for words, to be honest. Hey, Primla? Many thoughts and many wishes, much joy. The word had so much meaning in it. The face that said that was wearing a broad smile. I really am lost for words. The girl crumbled down onto the cracked ground like a doll. Oh, it's that scene again. Primler related and all that, but I'm gonna call it a part here. Well, that slightly woke me up, I guess. Just like, what the fuck? Primler's got emotions now? Wow. Well, it was gonna happen at some point, but the way it happened is like, holy shit. It's just like... Wow. Well, anyways, I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.